I haven't tried Paladin a lot, let's try this. Well, I actually tried this shrine yesterday. I actually haven't tried that rogue shrine again, the... what's that thing? The one with the... that gives the other minion style. Actually, do I even ever... I never even faced the rogue style shrine on... against the enemy bosses, I think. Don't know how good will the shrine be. Do I use Divine Strength next turn, or do I just... Yeah, let's just do that. Remember not to use this, this buff on the lower. I mean on the Shrine. Next turn, Lethal. Oh wait, uh, what could this be? Fine. I guess I should have just let the origin Squire be the one who get hit by the freezing trap, so that I don't have to watch the animation of the lower the shrine dying and all that because it's slightly slower. Okay, let's try some Siric with Siriji. Find Cleaver should be good. I think it's actually a good thing to face Warrior early on because Warrior games are usually slow. If you face it later on when he have lots of health. They keep through Zilfer. Yeah, let's do this. Too bad that I don't have one drop, but I have a 2, 3, and 4. Should be good. So, this is the overkill shrine, right? Yep. Which is usually not that good, I think. You know what? A Wisp will... Like a 0 mana minion like a Wisp will not be bad in this, in this deck. You could put Wisp and then Seal of Champions on turn 3 if you don't have any other minions. Let's just ignore the minions and go face. Seven. Can't kill. Uh, I guess I have to get rid of the floating. Because I still can't kill him anyway, so yeah. Ah, fuck. Death lethal? I do. Draw spells. Uh, the legend seems doesn't seem to be that bad. Mojo Master Mihi is. I'm not sure. It's that one. That thing is weird. Who knows? There might be a time where I make a good use of its effect, but I doubt it. Well, if my decks are like a low curve deck, then. That thing could actually be good. Not sure if I should use this straight away, but the faster I could damage this shrine, the better, I guess. Let's hope the AI somehow doesn't kill the uh, Jailer. Oh, what the heck. Someone 
Oh well, this one could be slow because I need to get rid of the shrine. That shrine, I don't think I could leave it alive. Next turn, I guess I will try to summon three, summon all my small minions, and hopefully I could buff all of them with my Tarim. And hopefully that will give me enough, be enough for lethal. Uh, next turn it will be five. I don't think it matters. Damn, no, that sucks. Of course, you got to have Doom Guard at the same turn as. Oh, this thing is interesting. Oh, well, this is bad. Not sure if I did the right thing, but oh well. Can't really do much with my hit. He, she suddenly uses Doom Guard at summon two demons. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing if she discard her cards before her Loa, uh, just before her Loa resurrects. Okay, now she has Malkazar, so it's wait, never mind. Wait, how many do I win? That fight isn't as slow as I thought, because the start is bad, but then I have lethal from Blessing of Kings. That helps a lot. Hey, more recruit synergies. Let's do this. Recruit synergies doesn't seem... I'm not sure if it's actually suitable for this shrine. I guess it might be, because you get... With a bunch of recruits, you have a lot of targets for buffing, and that gives you better chance of synergizing with your Loa. But of course, at the same time, I need the spells itself if I want to... Actually, use my shrine effect. I keep mixing up the word shrine and Noah. Sure if I did the right thing, maybe I should just use Master for battle because I have Quartermaster. I want to use Blessing of Kings next turn. Alright, this is kind of weird, but I am not actually using my Blessing of Kings. So I want to set up a Quartermaster next turn. Da or do I just use Blessing of Kings now? Okay, change of plans. I fight. Uh, oh crap, I forgot. Ah oh, crap, I could have used my weapon. That was dumb. Uh, what am I thinking? Uh, I mean, he's still. I'm still winning though. He's still not in a good position, so. I'm still fine. Right. 
Cry, cry. What is my Made a bit of mistake, I could have avoided uh, less face damage if I use my weapon on the Eternal Sentinel instead of the 4 mana 7 7, but I'm still fine. That sucks. Wait, did I miss Lethal? I do! Fuck. <laughs> Didn't realize the seal of champion would give me that much damage. Should have been kinda obvious. Ah crap, now this game is slowed slow down even more. Hey Fitzomatic. I just missed Lethal. You came in at the right time. Well, I guess the wrong time. But yeah, I just missed Lethal. I mean the game still goes really smooth, so this is still pretty fast and oh still gold split. This is the Paladin Shrine where, uh, where if you use a spell, the uh, what's this? Where if you use a spell, uh, so the where if you buff a minion, then the lower will also get buffed. Although I didn't get like. Any synergizing spell at all so far. Although my deck itself is decent. And the, the run have been going smooth so far. Also taking out this Paradigm Marshall because I will draw it later anyway, after the mulligan. How's your runs, Fitzomatic? Oh uh, oh Fitzomatic, there I just noticed there's another French runner who's currently running. His name is Loco. He was doing some runs back in the dungeon run era. Oh, what the fuck? That's not a good start. Ah, now I'm fucked. And don't have anything to play. My Loa will die. I mean, I got this Paradigm Marshall, but yeah. As long as my shrine, okay, my shrine doesn't die. You, although if my artist square die, okay, it doesn't. Uh, I'm not surprised, Vitomatic. This this run is hard to win. To be frank, like yeah, that's one thing why I think this. This mode is might not be as fun as Dungeon Run or Monster Hunt because some of the losses is just that it feels like you just don't have can't do anything. The game just start really badly and you just can't do anything when that happens. It's still kind of fun to run a bit though. Some of the effects are crazy and you, not the kind of stuff that you experience in a regular game. It's still kind of funny seeing how some of the shrine interacts and some of it still does. The way the shrine works still. Uh, provide some interesting decision making sometimes. Uh, this run have a bad start, so well, it seems like it's going smooth for now. But did he, she still a jailer? Okay, the jailer. You know what? Let's just ignore this. Uh, what do I do now? Okay, I'm going to play my bananas, I guess. Fuck! This that thing is so freaking broken. Like, what the heck? How do I deal with this? See, this is one another thing that I hate about the this motor thing. Uh, remember when I said sometimes things are just not in your favor? Yep, like this one. Uh, 
Next turn, my strength will die for sure. So yeah. Well, at least I have Tarim. Tarim might actually help me get out of this mess. With a fight cleaver as well, but... Uh, this just really sucks. That, that single minion is just totally broken. The game was going really smooth and then she just filled the board with random pirates. And also killed one of my minions. I could have actually used healing on my Stegodon, but I don't think I need it for now. I want to keep this so that I could gain more value out of my Blessing of Kings. Not sure if that's worth it. Oh wait, I could have killed the Sharon last turn, do I? Whoops. Uh oh, no that's bad. Uh, right. What is going on right now? Do I still have a chance? Two arms, men. Hey, he's in the liquor. Uh. She did, she already did, Spartan, and that's why I'm losing. The game was going really smooth just now, but then she summoned all those random pirates, so I'm screwed now. This tech was a good tech, but then those random pirates just bullshit, to be frank, because there's no counterplay at all to it, and you very rarely have an effective way of dealing with it. Although she doesn't clear this thing for some reason. Fourteen, seventeen, wait. Eleven, seventeen. I'm too of lethal. Nah, I still have to. I still have to deal with this mess. Okay, guess I might still actually win. Not sure if I made the right choices, but uh. Kinda of salty already with the way this game got got broken by the pirates. Although if she can't clear the shrine, I am in a good position, do I? 14, 15, nah, still can't kill still can't kill her too. Also I'm playing a bit slow throughout this game, I think, but then again there's not much I could do. 14, 15, 16, 15 One of lethal again. I uh, played a bit slow as well in throughout this game, but then again, I yeah, I just want to be careful because my health is really low right now, and I don't want to die. And at the same time, her health itself is also pretty low, so there's a chance I make miss lethal if I mess up. Auto doesn't seem to be the case, and I win. Well, I actually managed to make it out, make it out of that random pirate bullshit. <laughs> that game was horribly slow. Okay. So, so far throughout this run itself, I don't get any of the choices that give me a lot of spells. Well, actually, on the first pick, I do, I think, but <laughs> the pirates are fair. Oh, yeah, totally fair. 
It's ran because it's random. Apa? Yeah, I don't get like I don't get any choices that actually give me a bunch of buffs. Unfortunately, even though this run obviously synergizes with buffs, doesn't happen on turn three. Is it possible for it to happen on turn three? I don't think it is, right? Because that card is six mana. So yeah. It. Oh, what's this one? Ah, crap! It's the freezing one. Resident sleeper. Buff, please. Feels Batman. Wait, it. When was that? It wasn't that. Uh, was it happening on the my last stream? I forgot already. Uh, shows how good my memory is. Do I use the true silver champion or the drawing spells until my hand is full? Uh, let's just true silver so I could easily kill this thing. Oh, right, 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 that one. <laughs> oh man, that was quite a meme. Right, she stole it and then she got the pirate that gave all the random pirates. Uh, nice game. I don't even need the spells right now. This game is actually going really smooth so far. Although, I guess... Wait, next turn her low... Okay, next turn it will revive, but she doesn't have her blizzard yet, so... She won't get the frost fires for hopefully. And it's called emote. Spartan will get this reference. Uh... Blizzard gonna be sucks, but eh, still not as bad. I I think in most mages game, I can't afford the fact that the boss will probably have a bunch of board clear. Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, the new card. Didn't know that thing exists. A new card it is a new card well not exactly it's already been out like a few like a month before the new expansion i think oh and this one fight is actually quick for a fight against mage oh this one's actually going well a run that actually goes well pop champ prepare for the world record copy pasta guys because yeah this is going to be an uncontested world record of uh My shrines have spell cost one less. Uh... <laughs> if only Reno in the classic set will be interesting. How? Oh, by using tackle? I'm not sure I got your reference button. If you're actually referencing something. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> this boss, I need to get. I need to kill this boss quickly if I want to do a. Uh oh. Next turn, she will draw two cards from the spirits. And I can't do much about it. At least I still get a minion life next turn and I could use Blessing of King straight away. Ah fuck, don't tell me my shrine is dead. Oh actually not yet. She doesn't have pounds, my shrine is still alive. Phew. Concede for a better shrine. Nah, the better the good druid shrine is oh wait the fuck is this?
Balanced. <laughs> nice meme. The good druid churn is the one that gives me uh, give minion buffs plus one plus one. Not sure about what I'm doing. Because that one... Yeah, there are two good runs done on the leaderboard. If you go to the leaderboard, there are two 24 minutes runs already with the, the druid shard that gave plus one plus one. Shows how good it is. And uh, this fight has been going really well actually. <laughs> Missed face. Ah crap, now she have 10 mana to summon minions. This could be dangerous. Although she can't summon minions that are greater than 6 health. That's all? What the fuck? She didn't play anything? That's a surprise. Let's hope I could actually kill her before her strength survives. Might actually be possible because this game has been going really well. Oh, what the fuck is this? Should I just go face from now on? I don't want to leave that uh, iron fight runs live because that could summon a bunch of 5 5 uh -oh. what the heck is this? drawing spells before the, uh... so now I've drawn all of my spells oh I am I am doing smoke demon ah, wait. oh never mind I thought that card was spreading black for a bit because the heart art is green but it turns out that coil. Okay, good. Uh, do I win? Uh-oh. 8, 14, 17, 25, 29. Okay, I win. I win, GG. Because she decides to hit with her face for some reason. That gives me little. Nice! Been a pretty quick. So this run, uh, the fifth fight has been really slow, but the other has been going well. Mm. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Last fight is the priest one. Let's see how bad will this be. Yeah, I think you can't really win by fatigue in the later bosses, isn't it? Because they have more cards than you in their, in their deck. Unless if you have a way to shuffle more cards in your own deck. And I have that one card that will draw all of my spells, so that will make it hard to... Uh, I'm actually keeping all of this. Next turn, I could play Master and Defense Frank at the same time. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is a Dead Treadle one. Do I use the this thing straight away? Nah. So next turn I could use Master and Event String at the same time. Is it easy? And she have down fuck me. Oh, that actually makes sense. That actually makes sense, dude. It doesn't seem like a quick strategy, but that actually, uh, that seems like a decent strategy, actually. Crystallize. 
Although this game seems to be going well. Seems like I should be winning this way. Does she have any like mass board clears like Psychic Scream or Twisting Nether somehow? Nah, not Twisting Nether. But yeah. Holy shit. Nah, I think I'm fine. I just the my tempo has been going well, so I might as well just maintain my tempo instead of trying to mill her. I don't think I need to mill her by this point because the game has been going well. Although, well, that just happened. Uh, this game has been going well, so I might as well just. Uh, kill her the conventional way, I think. I don't think I need some crazy tricks for it. Let's hope that is true, after all. But, I guess my shrine will die, right? Wait, the heck? Wait, why isn't she killing the shrine? That was weird. Well, thanks, AI. Like, seriously, thanks. Not sure if I made the right moves. Let's hope the shrine's still alive next turn. Although even if it doesn't, I'm actually still in a good position. Nah, no, that sucks. Don't kill the shrine and I'm fine. Okay, good. Can I kill her next turn? I do, I win. Nice, GG. GG. This run might never actually be that bad. And I don't need to attack with the crit stylizer actually. Well, so... I still played a bit slow through some parts of this run. Because some of the parts went dangerous like... So the first... The first two... The first two fights went smooth. Third fight also... Third fight, it seems like it's going to be a bit slow, but then I have the buff, which makes me have a lethal pretty quickly for a fight that goes back. Fourth fight is quick. I actually miss lethal on the fourth fight, but yeah. Fifth fight went really dangerous because she managed to have someone fill her board with the random pirates. It was against the rogue one, and things went really badly bad there, but I'm actually still surviving. And yeah, the rest, the next three fights are pretty quick, I guess. I guess the last fight, the second last fight, I'm not sure if it, the two last fights, I'm not sure if it's considered fast enough. Maybe it's fast for a rumble run, this rumble run isn't that quick, but isn't as fast as like monster hunt or dungeon run, but this is still like several minutes behind the good druid runs in the leaderboard, so probably if there are a bunch of people grinding paladin runs, this will get beaten. So maybe this could be, I'm not sure if this is considered decent enough, but the run seems going smooth. Anyway, here. Yeah.